video provided by Wide World of Sports Anthony Seibold still keeps copies of the Wayne Bennett-inspired handwritten game plans that he once scribbled down at his parents' place in Rockhampton. He hasn't looked at them in a while, but hasn't thrown them out either. Seibold was doing a teaching degree at the time, waiting his way as a player through the Broncos' system a team he freely admits he was infatuated with when he thought there had to be a way to keep some of the super coaches teachings. So he wrote some notes. There's book smarts. And then there's street smarts. The new Rabbitohs coach and university qualified Seibold hasn't so much as learned the rugby league teaching manual. He's basically good enough to rewrite it. Which is why when Google doesn't uncover much about Seibold, it shouldn't be a huge shock that he thinks Google can uncover a fair bit for him. Study plan. Anthony Seibold with Shane Richardson at the announcement of the assistant coach's appointment. Days before he slips into an NRL head coaching hot seat, Seibold will next month walk the halls of the search engine's famous New York headquarters, then jet back to Australia to crunch numbers on South Sydney's pre-season training regimen. I want to see what they do over there. Seibold said of a pre-planned off-season study trip. Then I'm going to the New York Jets and they're the two places I'll have a look at. Then it's on to Harvard for a four-day professional development course. Signed off by the man he will replace at Redfern and Michael McGuire. It will add to a resume that has also included stops at Stanford and UCLA. The people in the Harvard course are from all walks of life. Seibold said, they are CEOs of big companies to managers or middle managers and so on. The title of leadership course is Building Effective Teams. He won't need to be reminded how quickly that rebuild needs to happen at the Foundation Club. Sounding boards are there, too. Port Adelaide coach Ken Hinckley has had Seibold sit in his coaching box before. All Blacks assistant Wayne Smith is an associate as are current and former English rugby bosses Eddie Jones and Stu Lancaster, and Cricket Australia's coaching guru Darren Holder. But as the Rabbitohs general manager Shane Richardson warned, finishing 12th is just not good enough for the pride of the league. So who is the man who was McGuire's assistant and is now guaranteed the main gig for the next two years? His story is as interesting as any. The left of center head coach known to sit in on federal parliament question time sessions when he's back in Canberra just because he can. Promotion. Anthony Seibold on the field in his role as an assistant. His gravelly voice lends itself to a Queensland background. When is an elite junior cricketer riding tour buses and sharing pitches with Andrew Simmons? Jimmy Marr and Martin Love filthy, when he had to give the game away all because the Broncos had come calling. More than 20 years on and Rabbitohs owner Russell Crowe's text message was now flashing up on the other end of the phone. He said, if you need to have a chat I'm here. Seibold said, we'll catch up in the next week or two. The polished and articulate Seibold only briefly squirmed when the question of Maguire surfaced at his unveiling on Thursday, he was personally endorsed by McGuire to be his assistant in 2016. And within 48 hours of the drought breaker being shown the door, he was taking his job. I had a conversation with Madge. On Wednesday afternoon, it was a tough conversation to have, Seibold said, but he was really supportive of the opportunity that's been presented to me. I am indebted to Match for the last 12 months and he leaves a great legacy here at the Rabbitohs. I've been a full-time coach for 11 years now and some people might not know who I am or think it's an overnight success story, but I started full-time coaching in 2006. Going from an assistant coach to head coach there's different needs. I feel I'm pretty well prepared. Richardson reckons McGuire's exit was the toughest decision he's made in 30 years of rugby league. But he knew the successor was right under his nose. My reference checks. When Seibold joined as an assistant coach, 
were outstanding. Richardson said, You've read his resume and I didn't miss anybody. Every appointment we make is for long term. The fact that we felt we needed a change in the way we did things and the voices that were around. It, that's what we felt. The players have got to step up. The administration has got to step up. Twelfth is not good enough. The players need to have a good look at themselves. And I'm sure that's what Sabes was talking about. And those Bennett game plans. It will be interesting to go back and have a look at them. Seibold said.